When the beaches were closed down, that was right before the beginning of turtle nesting season. So with fewer people on the beach, the assumption was that we would be seeing fewer interruptions of nesting turtles. The beaches started opening up again about the time when the loggerheads were starting to come into nest. And so about the time we might have seen the data showing an effect or not showing an effect, there were people on the beach again. Working with sea turtles it requires a permit, it requires training, and um, activities that involve endangered and threatened species are regulated. So if people who don't know that regulation part are just running up to turtles and turning on lights and, and handling them while they're trying to nest, they can both disturb them and that's considered harassment. That's, that's what the, the issues were, where the more turtles were being interfered with. I think unintentionally, just people were happy to see the, the animals on the beach, uh, but it's, it's something that can disturb them and uh, anything we can do to not disturb them is a good thing. How do we help, help the turtles? Uh, there's, there's several things. One of them is that we don't approach a turtle when she's crawling up the beach and uh, when she's in the surf. Uh, not disturbing the nest is a good thing. Not disturbing the turtles is a good thing. And as long as we keep the lights, our artificial lights off the beach, and that's really um, a, one of the, the hidden secrets if, you, if you're out on the beach at night is keep your lights off and you'll enjoy it more and it's good for the turtles.